Hey, Tony here. So today I'm going to go over all of the films that I watched during the month of May. I was able to see at least one film a day, sometimes more than one. I was able to get out to the theater. I was able to watch some new releases. So I am going to be going along from my Letterboxd account. If you would like to follow along with me, I do have a link below. So first up, I watched Prefontaine. Um, this had been a recommendation from... Um, a live stream from a Kino Lorber live stream. So I purchased this and watched it. Really enjoyed it. I had never heard of this story before. And I do like a good biopic pick. And this right here was a really good one. Like I said, I'd never heard I had never heard about this particular athlete before. So I was very happy to check that one out. The next film I watched was The Thing. This right here is the um, the 2011 version. I had never seen this one before. I had always watched the um, John Carpenter film, and when I found out that this was a prequel, I wanted to check it out, so I was able to check that out. Really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well done. I know that it gets a lot of hate for the um, special effects that are taking place, but to me, I thought it looked really good. And of course, after I watched that, I had to watch the John Carpenter version to continue the film. I really enjoyed it. Of course, I had seen this one many times before. But it was nice to watch both of those together. Okay, the next film I watched was in the theater. I went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Really enjoyed it. Just like everybody else says, it was very, a very good finale to that particular saga. And I was very happy to be able to see that one in the theater. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. And I'm definitely looking forward to getting that one on physical media when it comes out. Okay, the next film I watched was a streaming film called Snag. Um... I did not care much for it. I don't really remember much about it other than it just didn't it wasn't very good. So I would not recommend that one. I, I did give it two stars, so I must have found some kind of redeeming value from it, but either way, I wouldn't recommend it. The next film I watched was She's Having a Baby. So I was watching this for a John Hughes stream that I was doing. Um, and I was able to watch She's Having a Baby. I had not seen this one in many years, but I always was a big fan of this one with um, Kevin Bacon in it. And it was, a, it was a really good film from the 90s. I always enjoyed it, so it was nice to revisit that one. Another one that I revisited for the John Hughes stream was Some Kind of Wonderful. I've always loved this film. Great performances. It reminds me of my high school days. And I cannot recommend that one enough. It is a great film. Check it out if you've never seen Some Kind of Wonderful. Okay, the next film I watched was the 4K release for Deep Impact. Um, I don't know that I had ever seen this one before. I know that a lot of people did not care for it, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good story. A really good... Um, I guess it was a really good film, a disaster film that had more of a story about it and not just the disaster. So it, I thought it was really well done. I really enjoyed that one. Um, the next film I watched was in the theater. I watched um, Sisu and I watched that one because I had been looking forward to it. It looked like it had a lot of um, violence and action and I was not disappointed. Definitely looking forward to getting that one on physical media when it comes out. Um, definitely check that one out. The next one I watched was Escape the Field. I think someone must have recommended that I check this one out because I don't know um, why I would have just randomly picked this one out. Um, it was okay. It wasn't the. It wasn't my favorite. It kind of left on a continuation type where you would think that there'd be another film involved, but apparently there is not going to be one because it wasn't done very well. I didn't really enjoy it. I thought it was very felt very low budget to me and I didn't really care for the cast or the characters. Okay, the next film I watched was Ken. I had never seen this one before um, and I had finally opened the still books. I wanted to check the film out. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really well done. Um, I had a good time with it. Good story. Um, good characters. So if you've never seen Ken, I would highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, the next film I watched was About Last Night. It had been a long time since I had seen this one, and so whenever I was going through my John Hughes films, not that this has anything to do with John Hughes, but it did. Um, I did watch this back when I was watching She's Having a Baby, and so I found this on the shelf and I watched it. I really enjoy it. I've always enjoyed About Last Night. I thought it was a really good, um, 
not a coming of age film, but more of a becoming an adult film. And I enjoyed that. So check it out if you've never seen About Last Night. It's not the best film, but it was very nostalgic to me. Okay, the next film I watched was Predator. I don't believe I had ever seen Predator before, and someone was giving me a pretty hard time about it. So I finally checked out Predator. Really enjoyed it. A great Schwarzenegger film. I'm definitely looking forward to checking out the other Predator films. I understand that they're not the best, but I do want to check those out. But I really enjoyed Predator. Okay, the next film I watched was From Dust Till Dawn. Um, I had actually never seen this film before either. And um, I guess somebody else was giving me a hard time about not seeing that one. So I finally checked it out. Really good story. Lots of action. Lots of um, um, effects. I guess probably not the best effects, but they weren't terrible. I really enjoyed it. Um, the next film I watched was Shazam! Fury of the Gods. I was unable to see this one in the theater. So when this was released, I finally watched it. It was an okay film. It was a good follow-up to the original. I did enjoy the original much better, but this wasn't terrible. Check it out if you've never seen Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Okay, the next film that I watched was The Fanatic with John Travolta. Someone had recommended that I check this one out. Um, a very strange performance from John Travolta. He really um, went above and beyond to play this character. And it's a weird film, but I would, I, would, I would recommend that you check that one out. If you've never seen The Fanatic, definitely check it out. Okay, another one that was recommended that I check out was Sing Street. So I purchased this one from Amazon. I watched it. It was enjoyable. Um, I wasn't really familiar with this story, or I didn't grow up when this film was coming out, and so I didn't really have that nostalgia factor for it, but it was an okay film. I, I enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend that you check that one out. Okay, the next one I watched was another recommendation. This right here has, has Al Pacino in it. It's called Cruising. Didn't really care much for this one. It is a thriller, and I didn't really care for it. But I finally watched Cruising. Okay, the next one I watched was It Follows. I hadn't seen this one in a very long time. And I don't know why I actually just picked this one off the shelf to watch. Um, I've always enjoyed It Follows. This right here was my... Well, I say I always enjoyed it. I've only seen this one in the theater. I enjoyed it in the theater. I thought it was a pretty good um, thriller type film. And this was, this was my second time watching it. And it still holds up, so I, I really do like It Follows. Okay, the next one I watched was Stealing Home. This right here does not have a Blu-ray release. I do not have a DVD of this either, but I do have the VHS of this, and I watched Stealing Home. Really good coming-of-age story. I enjoy it. I think I was, I was getting on a Jodie Foster kick, and I will continue that throughout the month of June. So you can see what I'll be watching. You you can check out what I'll be watching of Jodie Foster's. But yeah, I hope that we finally get Stealing Home on Blu-ray. I think Kino Lorber would be a good studio to release that. Okay, the next one I watched was Clay Pigeons. Um, I had ordered two copies of this. I had forgotten that I had ordered this from Kino Lorber during their last sale. So that's the reason why I have a sealed copy. But I did go to eBay and I actually purchased another copy that I didn't realize that I already had one on order, so I watched my um, eBay copy. I love Clay Pigeons. I thought it was a really good film. Um, I really do enjoy Vince Vaughn and Joaquin Phoenix. Um, if you've never seen Clay Pigeons, definitely check it out. The one that I opened up, I'm actually sending to someone that doesn't have it so that they can check it out. Okay, the next film that I watched was All the Right Moves with um, Tom Cruise. And Leah Thompson. This right here is a sports football high school type film. Um, it was okay. It wasn't the best. It was kind of lacking. But um, it had been many years since I had seen this one. I actually hadn't seen this one since it was released. So I wanted to check that one out again. So I did. Um, I don't recommend it. Okay, the next film that I saw was Creed 3. I was unable to see this one in the theater, so when it got its 4K release, I checked it out. Really enjoyed it. It wasn't my favorite Creed film, but it was a nice continuation of the story. Um, it was lacking, and it could have been probably improved upon. 
I really hope that they don't do any more Creed films. I'm thinking this right here would be a nice little finale for the trilogy. Okay, the next one that I watched was Fourth Man Out. Someone had recommended that I check this one out. I actually bought it on eBay to watch it, and it was just okay. Okay, the next one that I watched was called Darlin'. Um, I did not like this one either. This is another recommendation. I actually bought this one on eBay to check it out. Um, I didn't really care for it. Could not recommend it. Okay, the next one I watched was Lean on Pete. This right here is an A24 title. Really enjoyed this one. I had not seen this one before. I did do an A24 collection um, video, and someone had recommended that I check this one out. I really enjoyed this one. Highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, the next one is another A24 film called The Captive. I had never seen this one before, so someone had recommended that I check this one out. I really enjoyed this one. I think Ryan Reynolds really um, carried this movie. Um, it was pretty much his film. Good story. Um, kind of a mediocre release, I guess, as far as it didn't do very well. But I really enjoyed it, and I would highly recommend you check out The Captive. Okay, next up is Crank. So I had never seen Crank before, and I opened up the 4K release. I guess the still book that just came out. And so I watched Crank. Really liked it. I really liked the style of the film. Um, I understand there's, there's a sequel to it, so I definitely want to check out the sequel. Okay, the next film I watched was another recommendation called Great Freedom. Um, this right here was recommended to me, and I ordered it. And got it in in time to watch it during the month of May. It is a it is a Holocaust type film, a prison movie, a character study. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well done. Um, if you've never seen this, this right here has subtitles. I think it's in French, if I'm not mistaken. But check it out. Okay, another um, recommendation from my A24 films was Outlaw Outlaws. Um, this right here was just okay. It kind of reminded me of Sons of Anarchy and Animal Kingdom, but I didn't really care much for it. But I'm glad I have it in the collection, and I'm glad I watched it. Same way with Climax. Climax is another one that was recommended to me that I had in my A24 collection. Um, it was different. The style of the film is different. I didn't care much for it. I didn't care for the characters. I thought it could have been much better, um, but it is different, so I, I, it does have that going for it. It's a different type of style film. Okay, the next film I watched was Ant-Man um, and the Wasp Quantumania. Did not see this one in the theater. Um, the style of this was really good. I really liked the, the world that it set up, but um, it, was, it just wasn't anything really exciting about it. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't really care much for this one, but anyway, I watched it. Okay, the next film I watched was Mermaids with Cher, Bob Hoskins, Winona Ryder, and Christina Ricci. I've always loved Mermaids, so I wanted to check this one out again. So I did. Did not disappoint. If you've never seen this film, check it out. It's a really good, um, different, it's a, I don't know, I was going to say it's like a family film, a comedy, a dark comedy. Um, coming of age, good characters, good music, check it out. And then the last film of the month that I watched was Breakfast at, Breakfast at Tiffany's. I had never seen this film before. I've had it in the collection for a long time. So I finally watched it, and really good classic film. Um, really bold for the time that this came out as far as the story and the characters and what happens in the film. If you've never seen Breakfast at Tiffany's, definitely check it out. So those are all of the films that I watched during the month of May. Really had a lot of good watches. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the films that I watched. Please give me some recommendations of films that I should check out during the month of June. Because I definitely will check out... Well, I see definitely. Most likely I will check out the ones that you recommend if I have it in the collection. If 
I don't have it in the collection, I'll probably just buy it. And if it comes in throughout the month of June, I'll be able to check that out. But I really do appreciate your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.